Welcome to this version of the Dr. Cage Says Health videos. This one is entitled, You Can Keep Your Gallbladder, How to Eliminate the Pain of Gallbladder Attacks and Reverse Gallstones Naturally Without the Risks of Surgery. Hi, I'm Dr. Arlen Cage. I'd like to introduce you to my book, Keep Your Gallbladder. It's now in its second edition. And as the subtitle says, this is how to eliminate the pain of gallbladder attacks and reverse gallstones naturally without the risks of surgery. I've had uh, a lot of experience helping many, many patients with this with a very, very high success rate. So please, if you or anyone else you know uh, is suffering from gallstones, gallbladder attacks, uh, please watch. The main points I teach in the book are that in about 95 to 99 percent of cases gallbladder removal surgery is unnecessary we wouldn't cut off a finger if it was inflamed so we really shouldn't be amputating a vital internal organ just because it's inflamed the next major point gallstone formation is not a problem in the gallbladder but it's rather upstream in the trail of bile production in the liver and the root cause for abnormal bile formation is the deficiencies of specific nutrients combined with arterial inflammation, which is triggering the liver to make more cholesterol. Natural gallstone treatment involves correcting the root causes of vascular inflammation, the number one trigger for excess cholesterol production. Correcting the root causes of abnormal bile production and combined all of those with the use of natural measures to slowly dissolve gallstones. In most cases, the popular standard gallbladder flush is contraindicated. It can cause additional pain, up to including the need for an emergency surgery, and still does nothing to correct those underlying causes of gallstone formation, and they will return even if the flush is successful in the short term. Root causes of gallstones, i.e. vascular inflammation, are also the root causes of heart disease, obesity, and diabetes, which neither a gallbladder flush nor a gallbladder removal will correct. In the U.S., these, these numbers are in the United States, there's about a million new cases of gallstones every year. That, that number is slowly going up year to year. More than half almost three-fourths will undergo gallbladder removal, whose technical name is cholecystectomy, which is the surgical amputation of your gallbladder. This is a permanent surgery. You can't grow a new gallbladder. You can't replace it with artificial parts. The mortality rate among surgical patients ranges from 0.5 to 1.0%, so about up to 7,000 people a year die from the result of a gallbladder surgery. Sadly, about 20 to 25% of patients who undergo the surgery still have all the same pain symptoms afterwards, or in some cases worse, as they did before the surgery. Here in the US, 90% of gallstones are cholesterol stones. Diet and lifestyle are the root causes. The other 10% are known as pigment stones, and they are outside the scope of my book. The major risk factors female, 40, fat, fertile, and fair complexion. So women approaching middle age, of still of their reproductive years, and Caucasian. That, that is the number one category of person who gets gallstones. Caucasians are three times more likely to be affected than African Americans, and certain Native Americans, such as the Pima, have the highest incidence of any population in the world. The liver and gallbladder actually function as a system of paired organs. They're closely related to both the pancreas, the small intestine, and the stomach. The liver produces bile. Bile is both an excretory fluid for fat-soluble wastes and a digestive enzyme. The gallbladder stores the bile until it's needed to help digest a meal. Bile, while it's in the gallbladder, is concentrated by the gallbladder walls reabsorbing some of the water. That will increase its potency before it's ejected to serve as a, a digestive enzyme. When we eat a meal and the stomach uh, starts the digestive process and churns up the food, 
into a mixture called acidic chyme. That enters the upper end of the small intestine, which we call the duodenum, and acid entering the small intestine signals the release of a hormone called CCK, cholecystokinin pancreasimin um, is the full name, and that causes the gallbladder to contract the valve called the sphincter of odi. It opens up at the end of the gallbladder's bile ducts where it enters the small intestines, and then the bile is ejected in to help do its job of digesting fats. Bile emulsifies the fats, that's breaking up into small enough fragments that other enzymes can uh, further digest them and absorb them into our blood and lymphatic systems. The bile, then, is supposed to bind with our dietary fiber and it's eliminated in our stool and that carries the fat-soluble waste with it. So that's what's supposed to be happening. So bile is the key. Abnormal bile composition um, that leads to a deficiency of bile acids and other cofactors coupled with the excess cholesterol leads to a supersaturated bile, too much cholesterol in the bile. And then as it's concentrated in the gallbladder, it gets thicker and more viscous. We call that bile sludge. Less bile is then ejected at each meal when the gallbladder contracts because it's moving slower. It's a thicker fluid. That means some of that concentrated bile stays in the gallbladder and gets more concentrated and that in turn leads to cholesterol crystals beginning to precipitate out and form into stones over time. So I need to take just a couple of moments and talk about what exactly is a gallbladder flush. If you've ever done any searching on the internet for natural ways to treat gallstones, the first thing you probably found was just do a gallbladder flush. The basic flush consists of ingesting a large amount of olive oil and lemon juice, sometimes with maple syrup added to enhance the taste. The principle is that the more fat you ingest at one time, the more strongly the gallbladder will contract, and in theory, this will safely and efficiently eject the stones in your gallbladder along with any bile sludge, and all your dreams will come true. In practice, however, this process has been known to trigger gallbladder attacks, causing stones to get stuck, and then that can become a true surgical emergency. Furthermore, gallbladder flushes don't do anything to correct the underlying root causes of gallstone formation, which are those risk factors for heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and other conditions. Most importantly, the gallbladder flushes are just not necessary in the vast vast majority of cases because there are safer and more general ways of getting the job done without those risks of triggering a gallbladder attack in an emergency surgery. Just a couple more uh, cautionary words about gallbladder attacks. The vast majority of gallbladder attacks occur after eating foods and in, in the book, I go through all the different aspects of foods that are the most common triggers for gallbladder attacks and bile duct spasms. And the very first subject I cover is teaching how to avoid those. We are very successful in most cases of getting the gallbladders treated, the gallstones dissolved without needing surgery, but it takes time. And to give you that time, you need to learn how to not have gallbladder attacks um, to give these other natural remedies time to work. So, natural gallstone treatment. I've divided it up into three major objectives. The first is we have to restore bile to normal composition. Second, any existing gallstones in the gallbladder have to be dissolved. And third, once we get the bile out of the liver, out of the gallbladder, into the digestive tract, it needs to leave. It, that means you, we have to keep your GI tract moving to prevent the reabsorption of cholesterol, fats, hormones, and other fat-soluble wastes back into your blood and lymph that goes right back to the liver and makes the problem worse. So these are the treatment objectives. The details are lengthy and very thoroughly covered in the book, and there's simply no time in a short introductory video to cover all of that information. The main take home messages I'd like you to walk away from this video with are, first, gallstones do not form because of any problem in the gallbladder. They are the result 
of abnormal bile composition when the bile leaves the liver. Gallstones are thus a liver metabolism problem, which is representative of whole body inflammation issues, and this in turn is a causal link with heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and other similar chronic illnesses. Gallbladder removal does not correct those underlying root causes or reduce the risk of these other more serious conditions. That's why removing the gallbladder, the cholecystectomy, and why gallbladder flushes are insufficient treatment due to their failure to correct the root causes. So my book, Keep Your Gallbladder, was originally published in 2011. It's now into its second edition, and it includes all the details for how to do natural treatment of gallstones safely and effectively. There's enough detail. It can easily be used by a skilled practitioner to guide patients in the process, and it has been written in plain enough language that pretty much any average person should be able to easily understand the instructions. Um, a link to purchase it is on my website, www.drcagesays.org. Uh, there is a menu tab for books, and this is listed there. So if you or anyone you know is struggling with um, gallbladder symptoms, gallstones, and is seeking to avoid surgery, I can't help but recommend my own book. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, the email here is on the screen, says at gmail.com, and my website, drcadesays.org. Please feel free to contact me. Um, the links to purchase the book, of course, are on the website. And if you have questions, you'd like to set up consultations to work through this. I've worked with patients all over the world, from Australia to Asia, um, North America and Europe, and South America, come to think of it. So any questions, please contact me. Thank you.